I think this um, session was quite, quite timely in that it gave um, other stakeholders um, an opportunity to comment on the action plan um, of the ECCU at the regional level. Uh, it up, um, rightly identifies human resource development as one of the key thematic areas, um, among other um, priorities such as you know, institutions um, and infrastructure. Um, but again, it provides the opportunity to dialogue at the, at the national level on, on basically the makeup of the um, human resource priorities and other priorities in a, in a more detailed fashion that um, helps person also realize that it's not only um, how it fits within the St. Lucian context, but how it fits within the Eastern Caribbean Currency Union um, as, a, as a whole group. And as we think about it, one of the things that came up is actually a, a lot of discussion um, relating to what the market is. Um, do we look down on, for example, bringing in persons from other um, territories of the ECCU as a, as a weakness, or is that a strength? And or is, or is that an opportunity to provide um, our peoples with further um, seasonal employment more regularly because the seasonal um, employment may change from, from um, island to island. So, so all in all, I think also it, um, it also provided for some discussion on, on how one can fit the, the context of the, our education in terms of how rapidly we can um, create skilled persons um, in a fashion that we don't necessarily lose the skill because we're able to regenerate um, in a more timely fashion. So also look at, at, at our development in, in the, within that context. I'm having participated in the March meeting. I'm pleased that the follow-up we had recommended is in fact happening at the national level. Um, the opportunity to engage national stakeholders in reviewing the thematic areas I think is an integral part of the process to ensure that whatever emerges um, is consistent with national thinking and perhaps infusing into the process what is considered to be national priorities. Um, I wish we had more time because the, it was quite an intensive session and there is a lot to discuss and um, we are looking forward to the next session and perhaps that could be a longer one where more stakeholders will have the opportunity to speak to the four thematic areas. The multi-sectoral approach is a welcomed approach and a very effective one and it's an approach that uh, must be used so I commend that part of the process. Um, I think it was very fruitful, um, however we need to focus on the objectives before moving on to um, specifying what are the KPIs and what are the specific activities. So we need to bring the objectives to the member countries first, finalize the objectives and then consider working on the KPI and on the activities. Because some persons were confused as to were the objectives going to contribute to our economic growth or not. So for example, um, in the human resource component, some members of my group, they were wondering whether or not um, the building the capacity in terms of the um, skills development was adequate or should we add something. For example, in my opinion, I think we should focus on areas that would reduce unemployment. We should not be focusing only on skills but focusing on skills that would contribute to the reduction in unemployment in our country. We can produce skills that's not demanded, so we should focus on skills that are demanded, not only regionally, internationally as well. I am very pleased to have been part of this session this morning. I also attended the first session in St. Kitts, Nevis, and I must say that I learned uh, quite a lot from, from both sessions. My takeaway from this session today is really the discussions on how the OECS countries can, can grow and what strategies can be used 
to, to create and sustain growth in the OECS. We spent a lot of time this morning um, talking about human resources and how best can we retool our people, how best can we prepare our people for sustained growth in the OECS. I'm very pleased to note that discussions are also, we, we spent some time um, to talk about the social issues and that even though you have growth, the, there are social issues that can cause growth to be slower than it should be or that can create negative impacts um, for our people and our economies. This consultation is coming at a very critical time when the Department of Economic Planning is now finalizing the National Development Strategy document. So I'm hoping that the outcome of this consultation will feed into the National Economic Development Strategy um, document, which we are now finalizing. Um, I, th I think the discussion this morning, um, a, a lot of the, the discussion focused on human resource development and capacity building. This was one of the main thematic areas, and all three groups tended to focus a lot on that. It just suggests to, to us that um, that particular area is a critical area for St. Lucia's development going forward. And um, what came out this morning was that um, it's critical that um, persons who live, who uh, graduate from the education system should aim at creating jobs rather than seeking jobs. Because this is an area which we need to, and to ensure that persons acquire the, the necessary skills that they can, you know, instead of just ha having to depend on, on a job, they can create employment themselves. And um, we think that um, with the CVQs and, and the TVET system that is in St. Lucia, there's a need to upgrade the level of certification that comes out of the education system so that we can provide persons not just for St. Lucia's market, but for the OECS and the wider Caribbean, even the world.